Question 23. The following figure is a sketch of a curve whose equation is y is equals to 3x squared minus 9x. The curve cuts the x-axis at O, 0, 0, and at R, 3, 0. The curve cuts the line y is equals to 12 at P and Q. The coordinates of Q is 4, 12. Line Rn is perpendicular to PQ at N. So all that information is shown on that figure. Let's go to part A of the question. Calculate 1, the area of the shaded region that lies below the x-axis. The area of the shaded region that lies below the x-axis. So let's identify that area. So the required area is here, the one that I'm shading here. So this is the required area. So to get the area of that region, we are going to integrate uh, using the function of that curve. So we're going to integrate and the limits are from, we have 0 to 3. So this is 0, this 3. So we integrate from 0 to 3. Uh, the function of that curve is 3x squared minus 9x and you do this with respect to x so when we carry out this integration uh, from 0 to 3 we are going to get the area of the shaded region that is below the x-axis so let us integrate this so 3x squared when you integrate this you get 3x cubed divided by 3 minus when you integrate 9x you get 9x squared divided by 2 then you have to add the constant of integration 0 3 those are the limits so from here uh, you can simplify 3x cubed divided by 3 that will give x cubed then this will give 9 divided by 2 you can write that on as a 4.5 still x squared plus c then the limits 0 to 3 so from here now we start by substituting 3 where we have x substitute that with 3 so we have 3 cubed minus 4.5, then x is 3, this will be 3 squared plus c. Then subtract, substitute x with 0, so this will be 0 cubed minus 4.5, 0 squared plus c. That, so from here, 3 cubed will give you 27 minus 4.5 times 3 squared, that will give 40.5 plus c. Then we subtract, this will be 0, 0, this will be c. So you have 27, subtract 40.5 plus c minus c, c will get eliminated, and this one will give negative 13.5 square units, that is the area. And since uh, when you're giving the area, you have to give the absolute value, uh, the negative is there to imply that the area is located below the x-axis. So ignore the negative. You can as well, uh, you can write this one as 13 and a half or 13.5 square units. So ignore the negative. So that is how you're supposed to solve the first part. Second part, the area of the shaded region that lies to the right of line R. The area of the shaded region that lies to the right of... Uh, this line Rn. So identify that area and that area is the one that we have here. This is the area. This is the area that lies to the right of line Rn. So when you look at that area, uh, you can see that um, it is possible to get that area if we draw another straight line, if we draw another straight line from that line there, and uh, since uh, the coordinates of Q are 4, 12, so this point here, the X coordinate of this point, the X coordinate of this point here will be 4. This will be 4. And um, this shape that has been formed here, you can see there is a rectangle. Rectangle measuring, and so from 3 to 4, this is 1. The measurement of this uh, rectangle here from 3 to 4 this one is one unit then uh, upwards uh, from 0 to 12 so those are 12 units so you will get the shaded area by getting the area of that rectangle which measures 1 by 12 then you subtract the area that is uh, under the curve from 3 to 4 
under that curve. And the area under the curve, let me shade it, the area under the curve is uh, this area that is here, that area. That is what you're going to subtract. So we shall get the area of that shaded region. And this is the required region. Don't forget that. So this is what we are required to get. This is the required area. And this one shall be obtained by getting the area of the rectangle. Measuring 1 by 12. Subtract the area under the curve. This is the area under the curve. So we get the area of the rectangle. So area of the rectangle. Then subtract area under the curve and you need to be careful area under the curve from 3 to 4 3 to 4 from 3 to 4 those are the limits that you're going to use be very careful with that so area of the rectangle is 1 times 12 so this will give 12 square units so now we need to get the area under the curve between 3 and 4 and to do that we're going to integrate function of that curve so we integrate from 3 to 4 so we're integrating 3x squared minus 9x with respect to x. And since we had already done this, uh, when we integrated that, we got um, x cubed minus 4.5 x squared plus c. Then the limits are 3 to 4. So from there, we need to substitute uh, 4. So this is what we're going to have. We shall have 4 cubed minus 4.5 4 squared plus c then substitute 3 where we have x so you have um, 3 cubed minus 4.5 3 squared plus c like that so you work out 4 cubed minus 4.5 multiplied by 4 squared that will give negative 8 plus c that is what we're going to get there then 3 cubed minus 4.5 multiplied by 3 squared plus c that will give 13.5 plus c this will give negative 8 plus c minus 13 let me do it here let me do it up here this will give negative 8 plus c minus 13.5 minus c and these um well, this will give negative so for 3 squared minus 4.5 multiply by 3 squared plus c that one will give negative 13.5 plus c like that and uh, when you work out this you will get um, negative 8 plus c minus uh, this will give negative this will give positive when you open the brackets you get 13.5 minus c c will get eliminated you get negative 8 plus 13.5 and this will give 5.5 square unit so now we have the area of the rectangle the area of the rectangle which is 12 and then the area under the curve the area under the curve between 3 and 4 so this is the area let me indicate this so the area of that part is what we have identified as 5.5 so that is 5.5 then the area of the entire rectangle is 12 so we just need to do the subtraction so the area required that is uh to the right of the shaded area to the right of line rn therefore given by the area of the rectangle which is uh, 12 subtract the area under the curve from 3 to 5 which is 5.5 and this will give 6.5 or six and a half square units this is how we're supposed to do it part b hence calculate the total area of the shaded region the total area of the shaded region so you can see the shaded region uh we have uh, this is a rectangle measuring from 0 to 3 this is 3 then uh, the, the the length is uh, 12 so that is one you're going to get then already we have these the area of these which is uh, we got that one in the first part which is 13 and a half so this was 13 and a half and then we have this one to the right of the area to the right of rn we've just got that in the previous part which is 5.5 so this is a 5.5 so the only one that you need to calculate is uh the rectangle this on 3 times 12 which will give 30 36 this will give 36 so the total area of the shaded region will be 36 square units 
that rectangle so that is 6 square unit so which is uh, 3 times 12 that is 36 plus the area below shaded area below the x-axis which is 13.5 plus the area to the right of line rn which is 5.5 now that will give the total shaded area when you work out these you'll get 56 square units you get 56 square units